An international team of scientists led by Carnegie's Gilliam and Glada Escudé and Paul Butler has discovered a potentially habitable super-Earth orbiting a nearby star. The star is a member of a triple star system and has a different makeup than our Sun, being relatively lacking in metallic elements. This discovery demonstrates that habitable planets could form in a greater variety of environments than previously believed. The team used public data from the European Southern Observatory and analyzed it with a novel data analysis method. They also incorporated new measurements from the Keck Observatory's high-resolution Eschel spectrograph and the new Carnegie Planet Finder spectrograph at the Magellan 2 telescope. Their planet-finding technique involved measuring the small wobbles in a star's orbit in response to a planet's gravitational pull. And Glada Escudé and his team focused on an M-class dwarf star called GJ667C, which is 22 light-years away. It is a member of a triple star system. The other two stars, GJ667AB, are a pair of orange K-dwarfs with a concentration of heavy elements only 25% that of our suns. Such elements are the building blocks of terrestrial planets, so it was thought to be unusual for metal-depleted star systems to have an abundance of low-mass planets. The new study started with the aim of obtaining the orbital parameters of a super-Earth, GJ667CB, that had already been discovered. It has a period of 7.2 days, but the orbit is too tight and thus too hot to support life. The research team found the clear signal of a new planet, GJ667CC, with an orbital period of 28.15 days and a minimum mass of 4.5 times that of Earth. The new planet receives 90% of the light that Earth receives. However, because most of its incoming light is in the infrared, a higher percentage of this incoming energy should be absorbed by the planet. When both these effects are taken into account, the planet is expected to absorb about the same amount of energy from its star that the Earth absorbs from the Sun. This would allow surface temperatures similar to Earth and perhaps liquid water, but this extreme cannot be confirmed without further information on the planet's atmosphere. This planet is the new best candidate to support liquid water and perhaps life as we know it. The work was published by the astrophysical journal Letters. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.